We are at a defining moment when it comes to addressing climate change. The world scientists are saying it's now or never. Reducing the worst impact of climate change will require unprecedented changes within society. We need to change how we power our economies, how we produce and consume goods, and we need to fix our broken relationship with nature. The corporate sector has a central role to play in rapidly reducing emissions. Companies are facing increased pressure to act. Pressure from shareholders, customers, investors, and civil society. And as concern for climate change continues to grow, so too will this pressure. Thankfully, there are signs of hope. We are seeing a massive uptake of companies setting targets in line with climate science. Companies are starting to decouple their emissions from economic growth. These are signs of a changing landscape that is moving in the right direction. We have the solutions available now in all sectors that can more than halve our emissions by 2030. Our goal is to help speed up the process and make sure our ambitions meet the challenges that lie in front of us. WWF is laying out an ambitious action plan for companies to follow that will help them achieve their targets and go beyond to take meaningful action and help restore our planet's natural systems. We call this Beyond Net Zero. It is an ambitious pathway that highlights what action companies are expected to take. We are going beyond a simple action list and including the metrics, practical guidance and best practices. Going beyond net zero is done by halving emissions by 2030 and achieving net zero by 2050 at the latest, through financing and supporting additional climate and nature solutions within and beyond the value chain, engaging responsibly and actively in climate policy, engaging with other companies and organizations around shared solutions and enabling and inspiring customers. Companies can use this guidance to strengthen their climate ambitions, set clear targets, and take credible actions. No company currently reaches the ambition we're setting now, but that's the point. This is what leadership looks like in a climate emergency. We have been working with several of our corporate partners to help develop this guidance. They are part of a small but growing group of companies that have clearly understood the science, the benefits of cutting emissions, and the risks of inaction. This is only the beginning of this project. Our intention is to build on the actions listed and provide additional guidance and case studies for all businesses. A corporate climate leader should strive to maximize its contribution to limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. With this guidance, WWF is showing every business how to step up and become a climate leader. We urge your business to commit to net zero and go beyond.